Hi, my name is Paul Setner, and I'm an Applications Engineer with Advanced Solutions Incorporated. Today, still taking a look at some of the what's new content in our 2012 products, and we'll turn our attention today to Vault Professional 2012 and the synchronous in-CAD revision table. Now, this feature is a capability in the workgroup, collaboration, and professional flavors of Vault. And basically what it allows us to do is incorporate the revision schema we have set up on the Vault data management side of things and easily and seamlessly transfer that information into a rev table inside of our CAD drawings. Let's come into Inventor, for example, and take a look at exactly how we can incorporate this. So the first thing I want to show are the easy options of configuring this revision table. So as we come into our settings, we can see based off of my revision table style and all the columns I want to present, I can easily track what property, both system or user created, that's going to drive the updates into my revision table inside of my CAD drawing. Once that's been configured, let's come back and we'll actually start to take a look at actually applying one of our revision tables. So in the same location our old revision table used to be located, I can now see how I have my new Vault revision table I can utilize in our CAD environment. So let's check out my drawing and just place on one of my tables. So very easily, starting to see it's lining up with my current rev state that I'm at, and I see all the different informations from my column headings from my revision table style. So let's save or change. Simply check it back in. And start to prepare this for release to manufacturing. So from my inventor environment, we can take a look at easily changing the state, staying within inside our, our single interface push this to manufacturing, they can now work off my release data, and we're good to go. But of course, as soon as that happens, we can start to hear the footsteps of our sales manager coming down the hall. They're the most important person in the world, and their customer needs a change, and of course, they want us to work on it right away. So we need to come back in here and start to make this change, and, and of course, up the revision scheme. Well, that's going to be triggered by our change of states back to a work in progress state. So before I can even make this change, they're all locked. I've now released that to manufacturing. Once I trigger this back to work in progress to process these changes, I can see from a vault perspective, all of my files have been updated to a rev state of B. Well, of course, before I can start working on my files, I need to establish ownership. I do that by checking it out. And once I do so, I can now see my information is being populated. It's triggering the revision state to bump and it's updating my drawing automatically. So again, wanting to maintain our focus on the engineering and the design aspect of our drawings and not having to worry so much about the data management techniques to get this information to flow seamlessly back and forth. Once again, I'd like to thank you for your time today. Hope you found the information helpful. If you would like any additional information whatsoever or would like a free quote sent out your way about the products that you saw, of course, feel free to contact us at your convenience. You can find us on the web or at the phone number listed below. We hope to hear from you soon.